Hello, I am Michelle from the Spanish Fork Petco. I'm the assistant manager here. Today we are doing a check presentation um, for the South Valley Utah Shelter, and we are presenting the check, the donations that we've received from our customers have come in, and every time they donate, that money goes directly to the shelter. Whenever um, they receive those donations, they're able to take care of animals and bring in extra animals um, to take care of surgeries, emergency surgeries that might be needed, getting them all spayed and neutered, and um, providing them with meals and stuff as well. So right now we have our cat can cella. So each time you come in at the registers, there's cat cans up there. Um, you purchase those cat cans foods and we bring it directly to the shelter so they're able to have food from us as well. So from the Pet Co Love Foundation, investments like these are made possible thanks to store partners dedicated to fundraising efforts. And every time a guest comes in, we ask if they would like to make a generous donation. And to date, Pet Co Love has invested 33 million in animal welfare work across the country, and we couldn't have done it without our customers. <laughs> I am the manager at the South Utah Valley Animal Shelter and we are so grateful to Petco and Petco Love for making uh, a generous investment in our shelter and the animals in our community of $55,000. Uh, we're so excited for this. It gives us the ability to provide medical care for the animals that come into our shelter, which could be spays and neuters, uh, vaccinations extra medical care that they might need, vet visits and things like that. It helps us to get the animals ready for adoptive homes and also save a lot more animals than would be possible without it. So it is a huge investment and we are so grateful for it. Thank you, Petco Love! Uh, it's been quite a few years. I believe it's been about four years that we've been able to um, have financial assistance from Petco Love and it's made a huge difference for the animals in our community and our shelter. We've been able to get animals spayed and neutered before adoption. That helps out a ton with the overpopulation of pets. We're also able to vaccinate animals when they arrive at the shelter to keep the incidence of disease at the shelter lower. We're also able to provide extra medical care for those few animals that come into the shelter that might need it. For instance, a cat with a broken leg, we can get that treated. Or a dog who might have an eye injury and it needs to be removed, we can do that with this financial assistance from Petco Love um, instead of having to look at things like euthanasia. Those animals have a chance and they can go into a home healthy. I think a really good thing that animals bring into our lives is like an emotional support. It's to have a buddy there who's, it's an unconditional love. It's kind of that you come home at the end of the day, you might have had a stressful day, but your pet is there and they love you anyway. And that's always a great thing to have.